let's calculate the sinus of minus 480 degrees we can see that we have the sinus of a negative angle and the sinus of minus alpha minus an angle is equal to minus the sinus of alpha the minus sign can go outside but let me remind you that the cosinus of minus alpha is the same as the cosinus of alpha so in our case let's get the minus sign out of the parenthesis that would be minus the sinus of 480 degrees we can see that 480 degrees is bigger than 360 degrees so let's divide 480 divided by 380 360 I'm sorry so we have the angle on the first turn around that's on the f on the first 360 degrees dividing this we have left 120 so let's rewrite it up here that's it that is the minus minus the sinus of what's left down here on the division that is 120 degrees so this is equal to minus as 120 degrees is an angle for from the second quadrant this is x positive positive y negative x and negative y this is the angle on the second quadrant here we have the circumference of radius 1 and now we have this point in which its coordinate y is positive and its coordinate x is negative so we have that the sinus is the y that that's the coordinate y so as, as it is positive we will have the minus stays out there of course and now we, we between the parentheses we have pl a plus sinus of as 120 is an angle from the second quadrant the angle uh, 120 degrees on the first quadrant is the same as 180 minus 180 and 20 so that is written on the first quadrant so that is just using the reduction formula formula so we can express the angle as if, it, as if it were on the first quadrant and 180 minus 120 is equal to 60 degrees so the minus sign with the plus sign is minus a minus sign of course and now as we should know by, th by the theory the sinus of 60 degrees is the square root of 3 divided by 2 so this is the result of the sinus of minus 480 degrees